we were, we've been walking for a couple of weeks. Uh, we're walking again. I know that, but Different we're not. Walking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I didn't explain to you maybe very well what it was we were doing the last couple of weeks, but it was very quiet. Here it's a lot less quiet. There's a lot more going on. Wales is next to England, they're both part of the United Kingdom. Pembrokeshire, so Wales is to the west of England. Pembrokeshire is a county within Wales and it's the county to the south and the west. It's a county on the coast. Um, it is the most, the most rugged coast in Wales, that's fair to say, isn't it? With lots of the best climbing yeah. and kayaking and surfing and that sort of thing. We've been wanting to walk that forever. Uh, so that's what we were doing. One of the main reasons for walking the Penguinshire Coastal Path and you don't have to walk all of it in one go like we did. I think hardly anybody does that because that's mad. But uh, people from all over the world come to visit Pembrokeshire because it's quiet, because it's pretty, because it has some um, unique geography and geology and land formations. Hopefully, as you saw in my videos, right? Like the Green Arch and the Cauldron. Green Arch, is that what it's called? Green Cauldron? Anyway, you saw the things. I forget the names. Um, but it's very peaceful in Pembrokeshire. It's very quiet, there aren't, there aren't very many people there. It's also quite cheap. It's quite a contrast, this place. If you're visiting Pembrokeshire, reminder, this isn't Pembrokeshire, um, but often when we visit places we have nice hotels to stay in, right? Pembrokeshire has a city, but the city of St David's is also the smallest city in Britain. It's a city because it has a cathedral, but there are some towns in Pembrokeshire, so there are hotels, but you'll more likely find yourself wanting to book a holiday cottage, a holiday home, or maybe stay in a bed and breakfast. Those are dotted throughout Pembrokeshire. They, those are your best bet. If you're like me and Kim, you might want to camp because we love the freedom and the open air of camping and being outside all the time. So there are campsites everywhere, as you saw. Um, we camped because we were walking the whole path we didn't really know how far we were going to get every day so we carried everything um, but as it turned out there was almost a campsite at every stopping point and some campsites are very basic portaloo in a field basic with a tap and some are mwah, tidy hot showers and free charging your phone and all sorts of things. Oh, charging your phone. Um, and they cost about the same, bizarrely enough. And they're difficult to research online. So, you know, look for reviews. Um, the biggest issue we had was, uh, yeah, electricity. Phones were in extreme battery saver mode, which meant they would probably last a couple of days. The phone signal is generally non-existent, so also in airplane mode to extend that battery life and had uh, portable batteries that we carried with us. But it was still difficult to charge a battery because even if you get to a cafe and you stop, you're not really sat there long enough to get a decent charge because we kept moving. You might be different. Um, anyway, our method was ask the campsite owner, would it be possible to charge my battery back, please? Um, they were all lovely. They always said yes. Top tip. Yes, I appreciate the cognitive dissonance of me being on a different continent and talking about you visiting Pembrokeshire. I'm doing it on purpose. I like that sort of thing. 
Also, this is me visiting, so anyway, you get it. Have you heard of wiffle ball? Because I hadn't heard of wiffle ball, but apparently it's really popular. Anyway, bit of anatomy and physiology. Um, anatomy. When you're walking all day, every day, uh, some muscles get short. We've got lots of muscles, lots of joints, and it's very helpful to know how joints move, which muscles move those joints, and particularly at the pelvis, how the muscles pull on the bones of the pelvis, right? And we've both got pains like sharp niggly pains but with good anatomical knowledge we could uh, stretch and work out which muscles had shortened had become tight and which hadn't and then just put some length back into those shortened muscles that is give them a like 25 second stretch and that would get rid of the pain and keep us moving at pace knowledge helpful physiology um, you runners out there will know that it's very hard to run every day, very difficult to run seven days a week. I have done it training for races. Uh, but you run one day, the next day you're sore, you're tired. It's, it's kind of better to run every other day. When you're walking every day, you walk all day, your legs get tired, your feet get tired, you've had enough by the end of the day, you feel really, really tired. You go to bed, you sleep, you wake up the next day, you've recovered. You are ready to walk again all day. You can walk long distances every day. So it's different to running. But also that, so it's to do with the different intensity and the different pace, right? Um, and you know, we have evolved to, we've evolved for bipedal locomotion. So we've got a number of adaptations. Um, but also you walk every day for a week or a couple of weeks and you become incredibly fit. Walking becomes incredibly easy, which means that in this large, amazing, incredible city with a fantastic mass transit system, uh, we're walking everywhere. And sure, mass transit systems are fun, but if you walk... You see more. <laughs> advantage of walking everywhere is you burn a lot of calories so if you want to be skinny um, and still eat like New York cheesecake and New York pizza I don't think you can walk any distance still be skinny after New York pizza it's upside down uh, we used to live here about uh, well we lived here at the turn of the century <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't as thin then. <laughs> that's, that's, that's so heavy, I can't even lift it up. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful city but uh, with all that walking we have done some days as much walking around this city as we did around Pembrokeshire. Yep. I'm looking forward to getting back to work so I can have a sit, so I can have a sit down. An eight hour flight seems quite nice rest yeah. now. I'll sit down for eight hours and have a kip in a chair. Um, <laughs> new students start next week the new medicine intake the new physician associate intake I am looking forward to it. Oh if you're coming I will be uh, greeting you. I'll see you Wednesday, Thursday.